So we're going to be trying to install Windows 11 on this HP Mini. The HP Mini that you've seen me try to install Pop! OS on. Now, I've discovered the issue with Pop! OS, and I actually figured out the issue while I was making the video, but I ran out of time. And the issue with that video with trying to install Pop! OS on this is that this is a 32-bit PC, and I think I had a 64-bit installer for Pop! So if Pop! makes a 32-bit, we're going to try again. In this video, we're going to be trying to install Windows 11 25H2 or H3, I believe it's H2, on the system. Can it run? Will it work? We're about to find out because I have no idea. This system has an HDD inside of it, and that is no good. That is not going to do us. But there, there, we. I want to give this computer a shot in the dark to try to run Windows, and we've got to try it. So I've got an old school uh, Samsung SSD. This SSD kind of has some issues when the drivers are not installed, but it's perfect for what we're going to do with it. It'll be fast, clean, and it should run good. Gonna go ahead and remove the hard drive. SSD is put in. Let's get started with Windows 11. Plug in our thumb drive. That port right there is so weird. Power it on. I think it's escape. Something's wrong with our thumb drive that I just did. Let me do a reset. Well, I understand there's no bootable device. Can you go into the BIOS, please? No, it keeps going into that. I'm not backing down from this one. No, sir. This system will run Windows 11. However, I gotta do it. I feel like this is gonna defeat us, but I don't know. I'm not giving up yet, but I've got another idea, so we're gonna try that. So I've got my my Dell Latitude E6400 out, which is another really cool computer we're gonna do a video on. Um, so you get a little sneak peek of it right now. Of course, I lost the hard drive caddy that holds the hard drive in, which is stupid. I don't know what I did with it. Um, it's got the SSD inside of it right now. I just kind of like stuck it in there and hopefully it's all right. Uh, I'm gonna put our Windows 11 thumb drive in here. I'm gonna install it, Windows 11, on this computer, on the SSD, and then I'm gonna pop the SSD out and put it in that computer and we'll see what happens. It should automatically boot in. Ah, okay, I didn't do legacy mode. Hang on a second now. Doing MBR now. We're gonna let it do this and then we'll come back. All right, now that we got the drive properly installed, I'm gonna go ahead, plug this in, install Windows 11 to this SSD. Not gonna show it to you. We'll show it to you in another video with this laptop. And then we'll go ahead, pull that SSD out. We'll put it inside the HP notebook and we'll see if it boots up. I've got a bad feeling that it might not, but you never know. So we'll see what happens. Let's take a look at the HP Mini and put that SSD in. Like some bad, bad news, unfortunately. It's not booting. It's not booting with the SSD with Windows 11 installed on it. It is not happening. It won't do it. And I know why. It's not, this is a 32-bit processor, Intel Atom processor, which is the same problem I had with Pop! OS. Now, I thought that at one point when I had the system booted into Windows 7, the system, the operating system that it came with originally when I first got it, it said that it was a 32-bit on a X64 based processor. Now I could be wrong. I complete, could be completely wrong. But unfortunately, this is gonna have to be a failure for now. And while I was trying to install Windows 11 on the Dell Latitude to, to, you, to put it on that SSD, to put it on this computer, it also failed booting up properly on there as well. 
and you'll see that in another video as well. It's kind of strange. I'm not really sure what was going on, but I ended up having to use another computer to get it to work. Really strange. I'm not really sure what's going on there, to be honest with y'all. But everyone, I'm sorry that this didn't work, but I do want to say thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.